Disclaimer alert! Disclaimer alert! Please pause the video and read the disclaimer. <laughs> So today we're going to talk about the types of abuse that you can actually encounter a Pechweni. Um, and those types of abuse, I think, let's just talk about three. Okay, so the first one is obviously financial abuse. Second one is psychological abuse. And the third one is spiritual abuse. <laughs> Oh, okay, thank you. Um, so the first one, which is financial abuse. So I've already spoken in the video about how you can prepare to go epithelating, right? So a lot of people have come to me, not a lot, I think about eight people that I've spoken to complained about Guti Bona epithelating. They were told Guti Ngomo is forty Tao or thirty Tao, and then they ended up paying to to 250 thou because they got these surprising costs I mean I've never had any such thing happen to me I knew how much is it I knew about even though I didn't know in details I was told okay there will be five to seven different events that will be happening and roughly everything included this is how much it's going to cost and uh, <laughs> and um so i think that's the thing if you're not prepared and if you're going as a person who's just desperate then abanye abu gobela they just make their costs so you might find yourself oh, it's even some of the things that you're paying for epithelini that just seem unreasonable do you know what i mean they make money on the site um sometimes they would say oh, we need and this this and that animal for this and this event and then in Yamako now you're like what happened to the meat? Abanyabayo they are selling the meat. You know, they might have a deal with the bucha ukuti for per month I will, you know, deliver the I will sell it to you. You know, so that's the first type of abuse that you can go through a patron. How do you protect yourself? That's kind of tricky because if you are dealing with e gobel or e sangoma, e shady, then that's the thing, you know. Um, I think it's one of those things that legislation and laws that governs abu sangoma would have to deal with. But I think when uh, you have to be in tune, you know, when you grow up to be the age that you are, and umuntu afiakjeluti, hey, you will never come right without me. Play God in your life. When what is that telling you? I mean, I had to tell one sangoma saying, yeah, I mean, I'm the best this and this in South Africa. I said, I went, I'm this age, you don't know what thing figure ganja. Yabon, and they will say, hey, you arrogant, or you know, sometimes people when they cannot abuse you, they'll start calling you names, right? Clever black this and that because you are not easily manipulated used or abused so you have to have the courage to say you know this is where I draw my line you know because what's the point of crippling your family for something that apparently is supposed to help you right putting them in debt losing your house kids not able to go to school uh, selling your cars selling your businesses neglecting your businesses just so uzo twasa and this person yena u budgeting you know i want to buy this i want to drive this so if i charge wonka ma twasa wa me wonka ma patient wa me this amount then i'll get to that so that's the first thing right so be careful um 
uh, you know, some of them even go to the uh, rational or would yeah, but you are able to go to a medical doctor and pay this much and much. Medical doctors are governed by law and legislations that protects the people. So until now you are falling under the law that protects me, then I will, you know. Don't, you cannot just change with the wind or with your pocket or with your dreams. But again, they didn't call you, so you are the one who is subjecting yourself to this. That's point one. Number two is e-psychological abuse. So a lot of Labantu, a lot of us actually, we grew up from a very abusive country, South Africa. Uh, you know, Queen Elizabeth sent away those thugs away from her to go and find her places. But figure they were themselves wounded uh, savages, Angabafuni. So they came and they treated us bad, wounded us. So that trauma was passed from them being savages, you know, the colonizers being savages, came coming to our ancestors and separating men, Baham Babayama mining, putting us in townships. So there's a. Um, general trauma that we experience together you know Utolomunti, you know we even have situation where somebody said yeah you don't greet me you know you have no manners mara uyakala bayakshai or somebody stealing umuntu akhona doesn't agadzingeni yo nakidizeni you know so i'd rather have a person who doesn't greet me marmankala or when somebody's trying to steal from my house, I figure I'm protected, you know. So you have to understand, Guti, some of these healers are wounded themselves. Some of these healers themselves, they have psychological uh, illnesses, they have mental illnesses that they are not willing to heal. You know, they have trauma, they are very abusive, they are abused, they grew up being abused, and some of them have not sufficiently and properly dealt with that trauma. So they are passing their trauma down. I've heard somebody say, Bona, they were told, we, we're going to make you crawl until you bleed. Or, hey, there's no such thing. I told me, when it's half you, half it goes. You know, you rape a band to shy a band to that's not how it works you know they are aware of what they're doing what's going on with you right so some of you psychologically nani you have not done the work of nabo abu kopela la baba kushupayo or a zulu Abuse So they are psychologically Ill, Ill themselves. Bane abu borderline personality. Abane, abane, bane bu bipolar. Abane, bane narcissists. Abane, they cheaters, they thieves. You know, abane, they psychopaths. Some of them, they are liars and stuff like that. So those are some of the things that uzo slangana nazo. Psychologically, you find yourself with you usepwetlo in when you think that you're going to heal only to get even more wounded yeah. and number three is um, spiritual you know number three is spiritual like none of us go to a petro and you see blank right uh mina i was lucky ego belayami nili zxc and she was taught by my great grandfather the co-founder of zxc and I was able to learn the stories of my ancestors, literally. Hore, you know, that's what he used to do. That's what we did. I was a little girl when I used to follow him around. I learned the history. For example, and why that had to stop, you know. And my gobela was there. But every Sunday, you know. So we would have to also go to church with her. Um, and she always taught us, Uguti, you must follow God and then the ancestors. God and the ancestors are together. They're not separate. Yeah, well. So Uguti, when you want to celebrate and believe in God, the Western way or the African way, it's up to you. 
but I understand what you have heard people say when I go to Scotland or they were telling them or mudimuang, mudimuang. Right? So that's kind of spiritual abuse, you know, when somebody takes something that gives you life, something that you believe in, and they want to ten, make it ten against you, tell you, hey, this thing doesn't work, or hey, you shouldn't do this, or you shouldn't do that, you know. So that's what we call. Um, psychological abuse and there are many other abuses that people have experienced in Petrueni. I mean I've never you know get um, the best thing <laughs> the worst thing she did to me is uh, she swore at me and um, I got to a point where I said ah, I mean I'm leaving and what happened is she called a meeting with counselors and other people who are older from my family to others to come and speak to me and her to see what's the problem why can't we get along you know and um i told them good hi man i feel like i'm succumbing to verbal abuse you know i'm not perfect but I feel like sitting here and having you talk to me like that is I'm deliberately exposing myself to abuse and I can't do that. I'm struggling with that. And she spoke and said, you know what, my language, the way humiliate and degrade you has nothing to do with it has everything to do with me and I apologize. And today she's actually one of the people that I look up to, you know, she watched how she spoke to me and I watched how I triggered her and we moved on, you know, and our journey has is not yet ended. It's still continue even today. It, it, it wasn't an easy journey. It's still not easy today. You know, I had uh, the last time I was home, uh, one of my infos, yeah, you know, so and I could see her now she's starting to back off a little bit and how much she shares with me, what she teaches me and what she does with me because do you know what I mean? So those are the three things and I know who some of you have uh, experienced more abuses a in more than financial, psychological and spiritual. So if there are other abuses that you've experienced that you would like to share, leave the link below, share your experience. This is a safe space for you and please share this video so that we can expose people to this knowledge before banging getting a Petruin. They must be aware that yes, you feel that to, to heal, but be careful in your pursuit to healing. You might experience more abuse, so come out if you're even a wounded person. And don't get me wrong, there are many of us who come out beautiful people who come out feeling better. You know, I used to suffer from a lot of anxiety, and I that I didn't understand that medically we couldn't understand what's this anxiety about and then it went away you know so it, because it was rosy related right so that's why i say the psychology and the spiritual work hand in hand so <laughs>